Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous two videos of mapping load, we learned how to implement mapping load using the apply map and map using. In today's video, we will continue our mapping load topic. Today I will show you how to implement mapping load where we have more than two fields in the mapping table. This is the data set which I am going to use. We have order table where we have order, customer, product ID, quantity, price and total sales and product table where product ID is the primary key. For each product ID, we have product and category means the product belongs to which category. Our objective is to get this product name and category name inside the order table. I have already loaded product and order table here. As already mentioned in the first video of mapping load, when we use mapping load, there must be only two fields in the mapping table. The first field is the field which we need to map and the second field is the field which is containing the desired mapping value. But in our this case, we have two fields which we need as a result. Product name means product and category. So the simple option is we can create two mapping tables here. First one, I can say map product name and mapping load product ID product resident of my product table. And second one is map product category. Same as the previous table. It is based on product ID because product ID is the primary key and category resident of my product table. And now I can use here apply map. My first mapping table is product name based on my product ID. And here I can say no product as product name. And same way I can use my second mapping table here and I can say no category and here I will use category and I don't need this product table now so I will drop this table so product table is dropped here and this two mapping table will be dropped automatically after the script execution so we will have only one order table with eight field names I will load this application now and we'll see the data model in the data model we have eight fields and you can see here we have product name and category name and if we see the front end we can add here product name and category name so for the last line we don't have product and category matching so we are getting no product and no category there is another way to do this we can use this map product and instead of creating two mapping tables we will create a single table but what we will do here is we will combine product and category and we will say product category and we will use this mapping table here and I will say this is a product category. So we will first load and see how we are getting the result. So here because product and category is removed now I have to add product category. So you can see we are getting here combination of product and category. So now we will use subfield function here and the delimiter here is pipe symbol and the first part of that product category will give me product. So I will say here product and the second part will give me category. Here I can mention no product and here I can mention no category. And because we have used here two, 
I can use pipe symbol and I can say no category here. So once I will load this application, we will get no product and no category for P100 and for rest of the order ID, we will get respective product and category. Hope this helps. In the next video, we will learn how to implement nested apply map. Till then, thanks and have a great day.